Today we're going to talk about an interesting new product from Campark, the TC21 Ultra Covert Hunting Camera. It's an interesting idea, basically it's very similar in capabilities to most of the other recent Campark Wi-Fi enabled uh, trail cameras, but it's designed to be uh, ultra covert. It's real uh, thin and it uses two powerful 950 nanometer infrared lights and the 950 nanometer means there's no glow at all. Uh, a lot of the uh, trail cameras are 840 uh, nanometers or something like that. And uh, you know, they have a light, uh, a, a soft uh, red glow and some of them have a stronger red glow. So this is designed to be covert, not only in its uh, flat shape, uh, but it's uh, no glow IR lights. And what's kind of cool about this one is it comes with a uh, tree bark face on it that snaps on just like this and I'll show you some examples of it on a tree I've been using it for about a week on various trees and it really is kind of cool and it does it does look uh, fairly con covert the way you mount this is with a strap on the tree through here it also has a tripod mount so you could mount it on a traditional uh, trail cam mount but that would kind of defeat the purpose of, of being covert and when you get the TC21 all adjusted the way you like it on the tree the final step is to just snap on the cover that makes it uh, more covert and harder to see. really works pretty cool. It kind of looks like a little stylized screech owl or something. This is a black locust tree and it really blends in good with a locust tree. Also like mountain ash and the black cherry it blends in really well with. And just generally it makes it a lot harder to uh, see. And as you can see, the profile is thin on the tree. I guess when it comes to stealthiness, mounting straps are real linear, so they tend to catch your attention. So it might be interesting to look into an idea of getting like a transparent mounting strap. That would be cool. And then the other thing is that it doesn't use AA batteries at all. It has its own internal lithium battery that has a long battery life. And you can charge it up initially for like uh, six or eight hours when you first get it before you put it into service. Uh, charge up the lithium battery with the included USB cable. And then it comes with a uh, integrated solar panel, which is kind of nice. This is not a solar battery, it's a solar panel. So this solar panel feeds into the uh, camera here and it keeps battery inside the camera charged. You don't have to deal with AA batteries at all as long as you have sufficient sunshine to uh, keep it charged. And this comes with a fairly uh, long wraparound cable here. So I think it's about uh, about six feet long. And so you can you should be able to put it somewhere where it'll be in a location to catch the sun. So it's a really neat uh, system. Uh, the solar panel also wraps around the tree with a uh, strap. And then it's got a swivel on it and you can mount it any number of ways to uh, you know, to catch the most of the daily sun that you can to keep the batteries charged. And I've been using both of these systems for uh, over a week and they work fine. One of the things you have to remember when you're attaching a solar unit to any trail camera is that uh, first off, you want to make sure the plug is in there good and firm and seals as tight as it can. So a lot of times your solar panel is going to be above the camera or near the same level, but regardless of where you put the solar panel, you want to make sure you have a drip loop extending below the camera. And I'll show you an example on a tree of what it looks like. Because if you have it up like this, for example, then the water is going to just run right down to the plug here. And then capillary pressure, you know, water is sticky. Water droplets are sticky as they run down the cord and the capillary pressure might draw water up in here and then you just need a little bit of water up in here and then when the sun hits it it'll get uh, foggy so that's just one of the uh, pro tips about mounting uh, solar panels on trail cameras to be aware of make sure that water drips off before it can reach your camera this is a cam park t86 it's been on this tree for three years now and i tested it back in july of uh, 2020 and all I do is change the batteries once a year, just because if you leave the batteries in too long, they may get corroded. But it's been running on solar. So this is the uh, drip loop that I'm talking about. And make sure that any water that runs down here it comes down below the camera and drips off, so that you don't want to have the wire up high coming down into the camera. So again, the way it works, it comes with this uh, 
face that you put on the camera that they actually put a lot of thought into it. It's kind of cute. But it just snaps right on like that. So let's go over the camera. This is your uh, port for the solar input. Uses a micro SD card and has a USB-C port for charging and uh, transferring files. And the uh, takes cards up to 128 gigabytes. You want to put in a high speed card and you want to format it in the camera as soon as you get it. So the camera is basically all sealed up and waterproof. And there's no batteries to insert, no doors to open or anything like that. The switches are uh, waterproof. A couple of things that stand out right away on this is that uh, the sound is just outstanding on this camera. I mean, I was kind of like not expecting that. I was just, you know, looking at the covert aspect of it. When I started listening to some of the uh, videos that I've captured, this is that time of year when the birds are really singing like crazy. I was just amazed at the sound quality uh, of this uh, camera. And I'll show you some examples of that. To me, sound is very important. You want to have a good sound as well as uh, video. And uh, it's just uh, really love the sound. So this kind of opens up some interesting ideas to me because some of the trail cameras have uh, good video qualities but don't have good sound. It also has a one, uh, 0.1 second trigger speed, which is really fast, and I found that to be uh, really good. So it operates just like any of the recent Cam Park trail cameras. Uh, you just put in the uh, setup mode, and then your menu is right here, and the menu really is uh, pretty much identical to all the recent uh, Cam Park cameras. You set up your mode, your uh, detection interval, your sensitivity. You can use a time lapse if you want, and invoke loop recording which just means that it'll start to overwrite uh, files once you get the full. You can set your uh, LED intensity. I've left it in auto because I'm interested in detecting things at various distances just to see how it uh, performs. If you were going to use it really close up to something you might want to select low. The night vision quality with the no glow 950 nanometer IR lights is quite good. In auto mode, it handled close-up whitish animals like this possum without overexposing, and you can see the detail of the possum. Covert 950 nanometer IR lights are not as strong as red glow lights, but even a longer range, this camera did well, as with this raccoon and trees at 30 to 40 feet away in the rain. Low battery at night, monitoring period, and frequency. And then your uh, parameters for the camera, how many pictures you want to take. And I believe it can take up to uh, 10 photos in a burst. I usually leave it at 3. And then your shutter speed. The shutter speed is usually pretty slow on these cameras, about 1 one thirtieth of a second. And then your uh, video resolution. Now I checked out the video resolution. It does video in 4K P30. But I found that the 2K P30 really has the highest bit rate and the highest quality. So, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that it's not so much the resolution of the video, but the bit rate that it's recorded at that has the biggest bearing on the quality of, uh, you know, the detail that you're going to get. And I'm always after the highest detail, uh, which of course that means uh, higher bit rates and uh, higher file sizes. But the best quality video on this you're going to get at 2K P30. Uh, and, and similar quality at uh, 1296 P30 or 1080 at P30, but uh, for compromise between the best bit rate and the size of the video and the resolution, you really find that the 2K P30 will give you the best results. So really that's the menu, I mean it's just like uh, the menu of all the other recent uh, trail cameras and you operate this through an app as well because it's a Wi-Fi enabled so you can review it on Wi-Fi like all of the recent Cam Park cameras like the TC06, TC07, and the T100s that I all have uh, been using uh, for a year or so and really like them. So when you get the camera all set up the way you want it, you just turn it to on, put it on the tree and uh, slap on its covert face, or the owl face as I like to call it. Then you can uh, look at it through the app. I'll leave the camera faced over toward the mountains there. You use the Wildlife Cam app to interact with the camera and you want to be sure and turn on your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth before you execute the app. Now you add the camera by uh, 
hitting the plus button. I've already have three cameras on here. I think this is the T300, the T180, and then of course the recent TC21. They all use the same app. I've had really good luck with this app on my phone. So you just uh, click on that. It usually takes about 90 seconds to complete the connection and look at the live view of the camera and then be able to set your settings. The uh, app is connected to the camera via Wi-Fi. And remember, this is just local Wi-Fi. This is not like an IP Wi-Fi. This is just so you can review the imagery and adjust the camera without bothering to take, a, uh, take it apart and take the card out and take it to a computer. So I really like this for aiming, especially if I'm doing some detailed projects and things like that. So right now we've got the uh, live view looking out. Here's the camera. And I'm looking out, out at the mountains over there. There's another big storm moving in. We've been getting a lot of rain recently. So that's the live view. And then you can, you know, the review... Uh, your images and your videos. You go on here and you can check all the uh, settings just like you can on the menus here. And that's kind of handy. Uh, like I said, I've, for example, I tried out the 4K P30 and uh, I actually like the 2K P30 best, so I'm going to put it back to that. It's as simple as that. A lot of times it's just a matter of changing your recording times and uh, the sensitivity and things like that. So you really you can do the same thing on the app that you can put the menu on the uh, camera, but this just makes it easier. And this, and you go right back to the live view. And of course, you can also take videos and take pictures uh, with the live view. Well, to summarize my experience with the Cam Park TC21 Ultra Covert Hunting Camera, I really like this little camera. It's really an interesting idea, well executed. You know, it's real thin. It's got an uh, yeah, integrated solar panel and an integrated lithium battery, so there's no battery, no AA batteries to buy whatsoever. Um, it matches a lot of trees and it looks, it looks pretty good on the tree and it, it lays flat when you uh, strap it to the tree. It's also got the uh, 950 nanometer dark infrared lights so that there's absolutely no glow that you can see. And it's got, you know, pretty much anti-reflective. The other thing I like about it, it has really exceptional sound. Really the best uh, sound recording that I've had on one of my trail cameras. If you have a situation uh, where you want to, uh, covert as possible hunting camera. Uh, this is kind of an interesting idea. It has a real fast 0.1 second trigger speed and I was really impressed with the quality of the videos. I found that the uh, 2K video setting really provided the best uh, quality videos with the highest uh, bit rate. And you can use the 4K uh, but you know the file size in order to keep the file sizes lower than 4K they've lowered the bit rate. So really the uh, 2K uh, video is really pretty exceptional. And again, I really love the sound. And you can interface with this camera with the Wildlife Cam app. So I found the Wildlife Cam app that you use to control this and to review the uh, photos and videos to be a really a good functioning app. This clip shows the stories you can capture with the quality video as a blue jay tries to intimidate its corvid cousin, the crow, by making two passes at it. This is remarkable detail for a trail camera. 